to wine at a very young age. Going through college, I really learned about the history of not only the country, but of other countries through their wine. So it was through wine exploration, if you will. Now, I've always been a wine enthusiast, so I've always purposely studied to learn about different wine, how wine was made. I've attempted to make wine at home. Um, so I, I say that in jest that I've attempted to make wine at home. But um, So that's really where my wine experience comes from. Now, right now I'm actually in school again, um, specifically for wine at the Le Cordon Bleu uh, out of South Miami. They have a wine school and hopefully in the next Hopefully by the end of 2010, I'll be a certified sommelier. And essentially a sommelier is a, uh, generally speaking, in some of the higher end restaurants, they're the, the, the wine merchant, or they're the, the, um, the gentleman that would usually recommend a specific wine for the, for the, the meal that, you, that you're having. Um, or they create the wine menus for restaurants and things. Now, my ultimate goal isn't to work in a restaurant. I love what I do right here in Lake Mills at the wine shop, but really it's just, again, it's just further education for me. So it's going to give me a little more experience so that when I do classes like this, I'll have, you know, a little more education, I guess, with me uh, based on my learnings with Lake Cordon Bleu. If you haven't heard of Lake Cordon Bleu, it is, it is a, typically it's a, um, it's a French cooking school that's been around for a hundred plus years. And the last 50 years or so, they've been really, there's a section of it that they've been focused on wine. Started as French wine, of course. Um, but now wine is just exploding everywhere in the world. So. I'm supposing that in the field of wine production and consumption, mm -hmm. there are trends and modes. When was the last time that fortified wines were in fashion? You know, for me, fortified wines are always in fashion. Okay. Um, I can tell you that, you know, it, it, fortified wines is seasonal. So fortified wines being like port and sherry, if you will, um, those are typically your fortified wines that most people associate with fortified wines. And usually once it gets a little bit colder, it gets closer to Thanksgiving, people really start thinking about like the port style wine. And port style wine, it really, it's just um, essentially how port, it, it, it originates in Portugal. So it, it gets its name from its, from its location. And port is they ferment uh, grapes and during fermentation they take some of the grapes out. They let, and then the grapes that they take out, or I should say the grape juice they take out, they distill it like you would liquor. And then they put it back into the grape juice so now it becomes a fortified wine. So a lot of people say that wine, it's, it's where you take wine and you add brandy. Well, essentially that's what brandy is. It's distilled grapes, or it's distilled grape juice. Uh, considering that this is a community that basically has a German background, mm -hmm. uh, what are your best selling wines here? Well, if you're thinking German background, German wines, um, typically, um, we have a, uh, a, a lot of German Riesling. Um, Germany produces some pretty incredible wines, specifically the white wines, primarily because of the climate of Germany. Uh, Rieslings and Lieberfemelch are two that are very, very common uh, and associated with German wine, and that's what you'll find here. In fact, most of my Rieslings are German Rieslings. Now, kind of my buying strategy, if you will, is I know that there are specific wines that are just excellent in different pockets and regions of the world. So when I buy wine, I buy that, I buy with that in mind. You're, that's your best example. If you look at my Rieslings, Germany typically does one of the best jobs with their Rieslings. So most of my Rieslings are from Germany. Um, there's an up and coming, I shouldn't say up and coming, um, grape varietal called Malbec. Malbec is a very unique grape specific to the Southern Hemisphere. Mendoza, Argentina is where they just have perfected that grape. So most of my Malbecs come from that region too. 
course, California's got Chardonnay and, and, uh, and uh, Cabernet. I mean, the, the list goes on and on. But typically when I order my wine or when I'm sampling the wine, it's based on getting the best value, some of the best qualities of grape and grape juice coming from some of the best regions that produce it. I'd like to uh, thank Rob Lewis for giving us this presentation. If you want to talk to Rob any more about wines, he's right down here at the corner downtown Lake Mills at the Wine Vineyard. Thank you, Rob. Thank you very much. Thank you.